three things need I focused on and I think they worked for me. First and foremost was my DAF, detailed application form. Uh, that is a must because you have to know about yourself, right? Secondly, I focused on the current affairs. Because you don't know for sure in this examination whether you're going to clear your mains or not. Right, so uh, 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 since my results were all, uh, my results of the mains were also delayed this year, they came on January 15th, I was already in a very uh, stressed out situation. Uh, so, but luckily I cleared my mains and uh, I made it through to the interview. Now for the interview stage, I would say that uh, three things need, I focused on and I think they worked for me. First and foremost was my DAF, detailed application form. Uh, that is a must because you have to know about yourself, right? Secondly, I focused on the current affairs. Uh, current affairs are really important in this examination at each and every stage, but even more so in the interview uh, because you have less time to think, you have to answer them right then and there. So I would say, you know, keep up with the current affairs throughout the examination, especially for the interview. And third, I would say, as in every stage, like in the prelims, in the mains, you have to go for mock tests. So I took about five, six mock uh, interviews uh, for my interview preparation. And um, yeah, so that was my prelims, mains and interview. Right, so how to now, uh, you know, optimize preparation. If you want to clear it in one go, I would say is that first of all, you know, uh, keep your sources limited after you finish the NCRTs. Uh, you would want to go for some higher sources, uh, you know, which are uh, higher in the difficulty level or anything. Uh, do go for them, but still keep them limited. At the end of the day, you will have very less time to revise before your prelims, before your mains. So uh, after you're done reading from the different sources, try to collate them together in your hand, handwriting. Or if you are more of a digital person, then uh, go for Evernote. That's what I did for my uh, current affairs. I realized very early on that current affairs, revising current affairs takes a lot of time or even, you know, reading the newspaper every day takes a lot of time. In the beginning, for the first one or two months, it took me three hours to actually finish the newspaper and make notes. I think if you want to, you know, really speed up that process, but also do justice to your, you know, studies, then I would say that please uh, try to go for digital, uh, you know, go for digit, uh, digital sources like Evernote. You can always, you know, uh, put together all your notes from different sources. You might be reading the newspaper, you might be following some, you know, uh, daily current affairs from certain websites. As